Uh, scheduling a what? It's called an office hysteroscopy. We take a tiny camera and look inside your uterus and make sure it healed up okay. Is that what I did last time? I think you did the HSG actually. Okay. Last time. You did the HSG. Okay. Um, I mean, it was a long time ago, but that, it's a little bit different. It's instead of trying to force dive through the tubes, you just look with the camera real fast and you call it good. Okay. So I'll have them chat with you about that and we'll check your labs. As well as your blood pressure, check your creatinine, make sure that's okay. Also check your vitamin D. And then, um, yeah, before you know it, you'll be on your way. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Good to see you good too. Time. All right. Bye. Okay. So I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, I just got done meeting with our reproductive endocrinologist. Our reproductive endocrinologist. Um, to start preparing for our next transfer um the boys are currently seven months old but one it takes a minute to kind of get the ball rolling with ivf there's a lot of testing that has to be done blood work that has to be done sometimes i want to put you on birth control and so because of all of that it was like i need to get in and get my appointment scheduled now even though we don't plan on transferring another embryo for a couple of months but that's just how long it takes so in meeting with him he said that one they typically wait one year before transferring another embryo if the person has c-section i'm kind of mad about because i wanted to transfer just a little bit earlier um but whatever um but whatever it's fine we'll transfer um when we can to so he said that um he's gonna have the schedulers, schedulers or in this line he said that he's gonna have the schedulers reach out to me um to schedule blood work and then a hysteroscopy hyster something um to check the lining of my uterus to make sure everything has healed up nicely um he also talks about probably starting me on birth control now just to be able to regulate my cycles because they're pretty all over the map. Um, what else? Yeah, he also recommended only transferring one embryo and was like, we ain't doing two again. Um, which I agree with, we're not gonna do two at this time, but I did let him know that if we have multiple unsuccessful transfers, then we will go back to transferring two, which he said was okay. Um, he also said that if that's the case, then he would recommend thawing all of our embryos, getting them genetically tested, and then transferring the genetically tested ones. Um, my only hesitancy towards that is that once you thaw an embryo, there is a chance of you losing embryos. And so like we could thaw them, lose some, do genetic testing, some night might be normal, lose some more, and then freeze them, and then when it's time to transfer and thaw and lose some more. So while we have 16, doing that whole process, like we could lose over half of our embryos, which I don't think that I'm willing or wanting to do. Even if I do go through some transfers of abnormal embryos, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Whatever God has for me, he has for me. And if that's a child with disabilities, then that's a child with disabilities. I am more than capable and I will love that child just as much as I love Jameson and Daniel. Um, and so that does not scare me. I'm not open to the idea of if I have an abnormal embryo needing to trash it. Like, uh, no. Um, so, yeah, but stay tuned like i said we're not transferring now we're just you know preparing to be able to transfer our next embryos um and like i said right now we're looking to do a transfer in march but hopefully if all of my like testing comes back normal and if i'm already in the system and like moving forward with like 
how can I explain this? So when Adam and I first did IVF, they gave us this checklist. Um, it was like, these are all the things that you need to get done before you can get to retrieval. Um, now that we've already had a retrieval and we have our embryos, that checklist is a lot shorter. So I'm hoping that if I'm able to complete all these things on the checklist, um, that they won't make me wait until March to do the transfer, that they might let me get in earlier. So that's why I wanted to call and schedule everything now, just so that I'm in the system, I'm marking all those things off the checklist so that at any time I'm then able to go ahead and do the transfer. Um, so let me think. Um, so on this checklist is blood work, um, is an HSH, H hysteroscopy something, 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 and birth control. That is it those three things that's all I gotta do that's all I gotta do um on my own checklist I need to start taking prenatal vitamins ASAP I need to schedule an appointment with my acupuncturist so he can work his magic um and I need to work on my diet but I mean listen I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to make sure that this next baby bass got a nice happy healthy womb to implant itself into so, I'm excited. I'm ex so excited. We're about to have another baby. Oh, my edges looking. Are they white and crusty? Can't really tell. That's like white. I don't know. Hope my edges are too crusty looking. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, that's where we are. That's the plan. You guys ready for more IVF videos? You guys ready to get back to the shots and the injections and like all that? I'm excited. Anyway, um, I'm at work, <laughs> so I should probably get back to work. Um, but yeah, just wanted to fill you guys in and like give you a sneak peek of kind of what we were talking about during the meeting. But bye. Okay, so the process has officially begun. Please excuse my appearance. I was laying on the couch rocking Jameson and then looked at the uh, the clock and it was 10.15, my appointment was at 10.30. So I had to like, just leave out the house. I didn't do my hair, do on some clothes, like looking real ratchet. Anyway, um, so yeah, the process has begun. I'm leaving my clinic now, just got done getting my vitals checked and getting my blood work done. Um, they said I'll have all the results tomorrow. I think they're checking my election, a whole bunch of other letters um, right now. And then next steps is one, I got my treatment estimate today. <laughs> so fun. So I have to make um, my payment before starting anything. That is the way this whole process works. Um, I can get on birth control and stuff, but I need to make my payment anyway. And my treatment estimate is $4,500. That's how much transfer is going to, sorry, I'm trying to get to Walmart real quick. That's how much transfer is going to cost me, $4,500. Um, and so I just need to go online and make that payment. And then we are set for transfer and then it's just getting like I said the checklist of things done um, beforehand so step one is done of going and giving blood now go ahead. yeah step one of giving blood is done so now I have to make my payment get on birth control and I don't know we'll see what's next after that but yeah it's crazy we're actually getting started today is veterans day and so um I'm off of work <sighs> thank god for face masks um I'm about to go into Walmart because I heard Dove has like this melanin brand of baby products and so hopefully I can find it um because I need some lotion for for both of the boys skin um 
and then I also wanted to try out the body wash and like the hair products and see Jameson's hair sucks up everything um and so I'm trying to find a product that will actually moisturize his hair and then his hair just won't absorb so quickly um but yeah that's the plan I'm just excited because the process is starting and it's like we're about to have more babies it's crazy all right I'm about to go start one more <laughs>